I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And we have a new commissioner getting to the tonight. Very welcome face. Oh, yes, we're in. Yep, you have to stand up now. I'm going to fog up my glasses, so I have to drop them. I'm surprised the press isn't here. <laughs> Raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. Do you swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California against all enemies, foreign and of the state of California, and that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which you are about to enter. I do. Thank you. You may have your seat. Congratulations. Yay! It's been a while since we had a full crew. Sure wow. has. Hey, wait okay. a minute. You said you're retired. What? Well, you can't leave now with the full crew. Oh, I'm not. It, it, we're, we're looking at another year. My program does so. not want to record. You have me to mess with for a good no, another That's year at least. Movies. Yeah. Uh -huh. it just, the recording just I don't mind arguing. I'm not going to worry about it, but. I've had okay. From so, um, we are up to the election of officials. We are electing a new. A, Oh, yeah, roll call. Sorry. Commission Thank you. <coughs> Excuse Vice me. Chair. Commissioner Mazzoni? Here. Commissioner Nicholas? Yes. Commissioner Palmer? Yes. Commissioner Parham? Present. And Chair Zinda? Here. All right, now we are up to the election of officers, the chair and vice chair. Does anyone have a nomination for the chair? Um, you guys, I can't hear anything. Uh, um, Excuse me? I'll nominate. Uh, Monica Zenda, please. I'll second it. All right. So, um, all those in favor, aye. say aye. Aye. Oh, aye. I can't hear it. Wait. What? You start. Okay. Can Keith hear it? Hear us? Mute him. Just mute him. Are you mute? Are you muted? Let's cherry on. <laughs> so anyway, the A's have it, and yeah. uh, thank you very much. You. Got me for another year. Okay. Um, now we need to nominate uh, vice chair. I nominate Daryl Parham. I'll second. Anyone else? Okay, so all those in favor say aye. 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 And you have it. Aye. So. Next year. It, does not look like we have any public comment tonight because we have no public. So, do we have any conflicts of interest among the commissioners on anything on the agenda tonight? No, ma'am. No. Okay. Yeah, we're good, I think. Can you hear us now, Keith? <laughs> nope. Are we still working on that? I can hear you. I'd say that's about he yeah, looks. He looks worried. You better, you better keep him muted. Yeah, if his though. face turns to a dog or a moose or something, go I am not a cat. Can you hear <laughs> Just keep your mom mute. He's in a custom he, mode. <laughs> it's funny, Dad. <laughs> All right, we'll take a break till the whole crew is here. <laughs> hey Keith, I can hear you clicking. You're on your phone, man. Let's put him on a cell phone. Keith, we can hear you. Hey, I, don't, I can't do it. I didn't leave myself anymore. Everybody will call me. Keith. Because I'm monitoring on this side, too. So I can, I'm a third party in the guest. So I can hear me talking to my ear. I can. You can hear him talking? I can hear him clicking. Keith, can you hear us? He just disconnected. He just disappeared. All right. Now he's gone. So 
So you're in charge, Sandy. Oh, wait, I hear something. Yeah, you make all kinds of I hear something. Keith, are you there, buddy? Jeez. I can hear him moving around at his desk, but he's yeah. not talking. Talk Folks, to us. Talk to I us, can't Keith. Hear a thing. Oh, yeah. We, no, we can hear you, Keith. You can't hear us, Keith? <laughs> I can't hear anything. <laughs> Because so my speakers are muted, and I don't know how it got that way. Okay. okay. Well, just tell me when you want me to talk, then. Well, we I are. Hear you. We'll tell you when we want you to be. Quiet. We are up to the regular agenda, but I wanted to know if uh, you were going to do the staff report first, or if that's part of the general plan report, or what. Yes, thank you. We're um, sorry, but I'd somehow my. I pushed a button and the speakers got muted and I can't figure out how to unmute them and it's on the actual Skype app, not my own computer. So this is the 2000 calendar year 2020 general plan annual progress report. We've given these a few times. Um, this year has been kind of a, a year that I'm not even sure many jurisdictions are doing them. Uh, the, the, it's basically a report that's supposed to um, report to two agencies, the HCD and the General uh, the Office of Planning and Research. That's to provide information to success progress on our general plan, see how we're doing in implementing the goals, and also the, the housing element gets uh, <clears throat> turned in, and that's kind of like your bigger review. Uh, essentially, this year, we didn't have any uh, new home activity. Um, we do have the attachments in, uh, in the back. They're the pretty raw going. To, that's how they go to HCD electronically. So essentially we have, um, this year we don't have any building permits issued for the construction of new homes in the calendar year. We did, however, issue certificates of occupancy for two new homes. And most building permit activity was remodels, small jobs, water heaters, Wood stoves re -roofing. So the last general plan update was, as you know, November 2017. There has been activity and impl implementation. I would have to just include by reference the previous reports that I have done. Uh, on the housing element. The last time we updated the general plan was in 2014. Uh, since the adoption of the last housing element, the city, along with all other jurisdictions in Siskiyou County, have been switched to an eight-year cycle. That's why the, the due date was 2019, and you haven't done anything yet, because we aren't really going to do a general plan um, 2022 hmm. uh, housing element update, that is. Thank you. Um, so we have table A and B, table B, shows that the city progress toward achieving the regional housing needs requirements. Again, we didn't have anything that to add to that. Basically, COVID uh, pretty much shut down a lot of forward motion. So basically, another thing that we, since we have that general plan housing element that's five, uh, five six years old now, we've actually implemented those programs. So when table D, there's really not much to report of uh, all the required uh, programs that we had a date and a deadline for have been met. So um, there's really not much to add on that, except I remember that we, we do keep up with the legislation. And last year we passed uh, yet another uh, accessory dwelling unit update for that, for the purpose of um, affordable housing. So, and amendments to the general plan. We have done one, and that was the, um, if you remember when we did the safety element update, when we adopted the hazard mitigation plan. So basically, if you want, if there's really nothing really much to report this year. So apparently, basically what I'm just asking you for is to accept this report tonight and forward it off to the city council so they can um, adopt it, and then we will move on with this year's uh, compliance with this law. Anyway, if I could hear your questions, I would 
definitely respond, but maybe we can. Oh, I just saw it. Um, I have a question okay. concerning Table F. Um, the units rehabilitated, preserved, and acquired. Uh, what I, my question is, all the way back here, there are all these programs from 2014 to 2019 regarding housing rehabilitation program. Is this, and is this what we are using Great Northern Services for? Is this the one and the same? Or is this a separate housing rehabilitation program? See, I, I did, I'm looking for table F. So I, I, missed the, I missed the question. Table F is the very last page before. I don't even know what table There is a table F in there? Yeah. <laughs> well, it says so on paper. The, conclusion. the very last, the second to the last pa large page, if you have that with you. Here. Program H E H E H E. It might even be. That's all part of table D. D. Okay, it says F in my written here. So. What's the program number? Yeah. You know, I don't see a table F listed. Six five nine one five point seven. Table F wow. is units rehabilitated, preserved, and acquired for alternate ac adequate That's sites. Kind of we have had no rehabs to report per oh. to, pursuant to this code. Great Northern, Great Northern is separate from this. Great Northern is separate from. It is separate. Is separate. So, okay. That's ex basically what I wanted to know if that was two different things. Yes. yes. Okay. Is that program still going? Okay. That that answers my question. Does are you finished with your uh, report on this, Keith? Do we have any questions? Oh. Uh, do we have? Tell, do we have tell any, them to stand down. <laughs> do we have any questions from any of the commissioners besides me about? <laughs> No, I think it was a pretty thorough and well put together report myself. So, yeah. are you with us, Keith? Can you hear us? No, he can't hear. Thank us. you. Does anyone have any questions? No, no, no. No. I want to get out of here before dark. Okay, so then we are going on to the Dollar Tree. Can you tell us about the Dollar Tree, Keith? Can I get a motion to... Oh, right, I'll make right. a motion to uh, accept and I'm, forward I'm, the I'm, report as written to City Council. Yes. I'll second it. I'll second it. All those in favor, aye. say aye. 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 All those against? Nobody's done. against. The, uh, the motion is passed. Should you be careful? I got a dog in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Keith? Uh, do you want to tell us about the Dollar Tree project, Keith? He can't hear us. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Sorry about this uh, just a technical delay. difficulty. I'm going to have to work on this. Um, essentially, this is an addendum to the original staff report from last fall. The project, as we know, is located on Vista Drive, immediately east of the grocery outlet. Essentially, their, their tenant or their client, this would be Pro Equity's client, Dollar Tree, um, at the last minute, changed their idea about what they want to do for the sign. Um, right? If you know, remember right, right now they have a we've approved a monument sign, which technically is a freestanding sign, but we approved it the night of the the hearing. Um, and what they what they are proposing now is a pole sign, a pylon sign, uh, approximately 25 feet tall. The sign width is 10 
10 feet its sign height the sign area is 7.5 by 10 for total area is 75 square feet um, apparently this just really kind of represents about 15 more square feet of freestanding sign on the site um, they have they have a lot of signage that they're allowed uh, let's just put it this way um, for vertical projecting signs and freestanding signs, the allowed area is one square foot, foot per one foot of street frontage. For flush mounted signs, it's four feet per linear feet of street frontage. Uh, also, each 2,000 square feet of parking area, a freestanding sign can have an additional 20 square feet of sign area. I actually forgot to put in the the total allowed sign area, but it was, I do, do uh, incorporate that by reference from their last report. Uh, their property line is 189 feet, so they really don't have any problems with meeting the um, requirements for sign area. Um, so the sign area is compliant, as I, as I indicate. There's Maybe important to consider the immediate vicinity in the context the sign is proposed. There are existing tall signs in the area, notably grocery outlet and the restaurants and fuel services. I I'm thinking that since the freestanding sign is well within the allowed sign area and there are no height limits or standards aside from a case by case review, which this is, um, then this, this sign is discretionary the planning commission can also deny the request or modify the project to address concern over height or area basically i put two choices you could either approve the amend, amended uh, application to allow for the 20 foot pole sign or deny the amended application then at that point the old, uh, the, the monument sign will still be what what is up? That's the staff report. Okay. Do, do any of the commissioners care to say anything? Have any questions about this project? No, they're changing to a neater sign. What they're doing, not as big. Okay. Trying to say. All right. Um, I make an, a motion to uh, for the approval of the increase in size of the free signing standing sign to 75 square feet for Dollar Tree Retail Store Pro Equity Asset Management. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 The ayes have it. It is approved. That was an easy one. <laughs> okay. I think that is the business, <laughs> the business of the evening. Um, we go on to approval of the minutes for the last meeting. Don't see any problem with that. Um, do we have any commissioner reports? Anyone care to report on anything today? I just want to, uh, I just want to say and give a, a, a thank you for the public works and the. Um, Police department and the dispatchers during these snowstorms, they relentlessly were out there working all night long and keeping the roads safe for everybody. So I, I, I wanted to give them a shout out and tell them that uh, all those departments did a great job during this time, this weather, and I appreciate it. And Brian, too, no, no, I know. I, got, I did a lousy job. I got my ass kicked this time. Well, <laughs> you know what? You, you're out there and it's, it's appreciated from all that. But for, for the city, they did a good job as usual. and. Everybody seemed to want to wreck this time. <laughs> yeah, well, it was but that's all I have to say. I agree. I was pretty impressed. Ryan sitting out there in a snowstorm in the middle of the road trying to drag traffic out of McDonald's. Oh. Um, they were turning them off. They closed five again. Okay. Let me get back. Uh, are there any other staff reports? No. Any other staff reports, Keith? Nope. Nothing from me. Uh, okay. With that, I adjourn the meeting.
All right, wait, wait, wait. I always forget this part. <laughs> I make a motion <laughs> to adjourn the meeting. City Council nominated. I'm right with that one.